Hi, my name is Moises Macero. Welcome to the video introduction of the book Learn Microservices with Spring Boot. This book teaches you how to build a microservices architecture in a practical way, walking through a case study application that starts simple and grows smoothly so you can understand the challenges of moving to microservices step by step. Questions like how to communicate microservices between them, implementing service discovery, load balancing and routing, or testing your flow end-to-end -end are frequently covered in other books and plenty of articles on the internet. But the reality is that when you read only the theory, everything sounds possible and it's difficult to understand what are the real implications. This book changes the approach and creates a story for you with a real-life business case and it covers its design and implementation. It alternates between introducing the concepts and putting them into practice. With this evolving application, you see why it is good to start with a monolith, when it's a good time to move to microservices, what are the risks of not splitting them properly, and how normal it is to refactor your code as your product evolves. The advantage of being immersed in this story as a reader is that you can think by yourself, the book presents you the problems before diving into the possible solutions. That's the way you will grasp all the concepts and you will be able to apply them in your next software project. The technologies used in this book are Java 8, Spring Boot, Spring MVC used to build our RESTful services, Spring Data JPA to connect to a SQL database, Spring AMQP and Rabbit, used to communicate microservices with Rabbit and Q. Spring Cloud Netflix, with tools like Eureka and Ribbon for service discovery and load balancing. Zool, for our API gateway. And Histrix, to implement the circuit breaker pattern. And Cucumber, as a framework to build an end-to-end -end service integration test. Besides, the book covers other concepts like microservices patterns, test-driven development, event-driven systems, synchronous and asynchronous communication, or an introduction to gamification. However, don't be overwhelmed by the amount of fancy names. The only skills you need to have to read this book are some experience with Java and a basic understanding on how dependency injection works. The rest of the topics are introduced in the book referring you to additional online sources for those topics you may want to get further knowledge. I hope you find this video introduction helpful. You can buy the book from many physical and online stores like apress.com, Google Play Books or Amazon. In case you have questions, feedback or comments, feel free to contact me through one of the multiple channels available. Thanks for watching this video.